Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube land? Hope you guys are having a great start to your morning. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel, NC Tub TV. So in the news today, we have Beyonce, who in fact should be thanking her lucky stars that she is light skinned according to her father, Matthew Knowles. During a recent interview, Mr. Knowles highlighted the fact that the expectations of the industry definitely go by the pigmentation of your skin, which propelled him to come to the conclusion that if Beyonce was a tad bit darker, he doesn't feel that she would be as successful. Now, he also alluded to the fact that that is why Kelly Rowland isn't as successful due to the simple fact that she's a darker skinned girl. So without further ado, let's run to the audio and hear what Matthew Knowles had to say in regards to this matter. You talked about this research study that was done on colorism in the music industry, and it found that over a 15 year period, it was overwhelmingly lighter skinned women who would get top 40 airplay it was uh, Alicia Keys, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce. Uh, tell us about Mariah that, Carey. Mariah. Tell us about uh, that study because I was like, "This is this is important to know, right?" That people yeah, don't talk about yeah, that. Actually, it was uh, one of my classes at Texas Southern. We have a, a degree there that I help create called Entertainment Recording Management. You actually get a degree in that. So. Uh, they actually did research, and what they found was exactly what you said. Because in the music industry, there's still segregation. As you know, there used to be the black division. Oh, yeah. Race uh, records. Uh, right. Race yeah. records. Uh, and s programmers, especially at pop radio, uh, has this imagery of what beauty looks like. Mm. And, and, and they, they wanted that image, imagery to be the same that's singing those records mm. and if you look back even at Whitney Houston if you look at those photos how they lighten her yeah. to make her look lighter complexion yeah because there's a, a perception and colorism the lighter that you are the smarter the more economically uh, you know there's a perception mm -hmm. all, all around the world about color even with black folks oh yeah absolutely there's a perception yeah, absolutely. <laughs> how how different do you think Beyonce's career would have been if she were a darker skinned woman? I think it would. She would have had a. It would have affected her success. Mm. Uh, and I used uh, Kelly Rowland oh, as yeah. an example. Great um, songs, yeah. Um, you know, she's a great example. But you know, the great thing is Kelly did exceptional outside of America, mm. especially in Australia. Uh, Kelly sold over four million records. She just yeah. got off script. All right, family, so we heard what Matthew Knowles had to say, and this is what I find interesting. About a couple of weeks ago, Kelly Rowland was on record stating that she will always be number two to Beyonce, and that she accepts that she has come to terms that she would never be in that position. Now you have Beyonce father and Matthew Knowles doing an interview, and he's stating that the only reason that Kelly Rowland wasn't as successful is due to the fact that she's a darker skinned girl. Now, let me say this, and if I'm tripping, you can drop down in the comments to let me know that I'm tripping. I love Kelly Rowland, and I'm not a big Beyonce fan, and you guys know that, but I do know that Beyonce is more talented than Kelly Rowland, and I don't know if Kelly Rowland, even if she was the complexion of Beyonce, would have done as well as Beyonce because she doesn't have Beyonce's talent as a performer. And also, I feel that Beyonce's voice is all right. Mm, you know, I'm not that impressed, but I give her the edge over Kelly Rowland. So I think that talent usurps all. You see what I'm saying? Now, again, I get what Matthew Knowles is trying to convey, but I don't know if I was sat down and did an interview and said that about my daughter. I know that it's factual. I know that there's some truth and validity to what he's saying. I get that. But I question the place that it came from in Matthew Knowles because this is an individual that's been on the record saying some shady things about Beyonce in the past. I can remember him saying that she wasn't a great speaker. She wasn't a great talker. So when you have an individual like Matthew Knowles who doesn't mind showcasing to the world his thoughts on Beyonce's flaws, or for a lack of a better term, his thoughts on what he thinks Beyonce's flaws are, you have to take in consideration that Matthew could be throwing some slight shade there. 
I don't know. Drop down in the comments and let a brother know do you think that Matthew knows is being just a tad bit shady. All right? So I'm going to let this go. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, share this video. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. And also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't be afraid to follow your boy, all right? It's been real. You all have a blessed day. Peace.